So I've been meaning to make some videos, or just uh, some hints uh, in video form of a question that uh, people who have a lot of uh, followers, uh, way more followers than me, uh, and people who have an audience uh, tend to get asked, especially uh, guys, guys who are have a lot of people listening to them, uh, because they tend to not have trouble with something that a lot of guys do have trouble with, and especially young men. And uh, that is the question of how to get a girlfriend. Uh, because it's on the minds of every straight male, uh, or just about every straight male, uh, as soon as you uh, pretty much uh, start thinking about anything at all. Uh, which is, what do I do? How do I, um, you know, how should I behave? What, what actions should I take? What should I learn? Uh, what kind of car should I drive? What kind of things should I buy? And marketers will take advantage of this because they want you to buy their product and they want to make that one whether or not you have any need for that product at all. And whether or not you have any better chance using their product of getting a girlfriend, of having any kind of uh, relationship, whether it's for the night uh, or something that could lead to marriage or, or anything at all, uh, they will do their best to associate the idea of getting a girlfriend with their product. And they'll do sometimes this very explicitly. I think it was, might have been Paul Gray, might have been another guy who uh, suggested for people who are thinking of making a startup uh, to imagine how their startup could, quote, you know, get a you know, young man in a university uh, dorm laid. And so, they're very aware that this is not only something that people think about a lot, uh, but that they'll act on it. But you can see my other videos. Uh, I just saw the, the numbers video and the math is useless video, for example, where you can actually, if you start collecting the data, start looking to see, well, what actually will lead your average young man to getting a girlfriend? What kind of actions generally could you take? What do women want? How many women want that? Uh, those sorts of questions have answers that you can get at least pretty good approximations for. But like I said, you have to be very careful when you go looking for this kind of data because people will sell you a product. And that product may be completely not related to your goal at hand. And why shouldn't you be focused on that goal? Girlfriends are great. And so if you start thinking about it seriously, you start doing a little bit of research. And if you start looking into the history a little bit, you find that one of the things that historically women have had to do is maintain the house, the household. And different cultures handle this differently. Depending where you are watching this video, you may have seen a lot of housewives or not uh, living at home, uh, doing a lot of chores, keeping the house in order. And so you can start to observe that this is what a lot of women spend a lot of their time doing. And in particular, one of the chores that women as a general group, as a broad group, will wind up doing a lot is dishes. Now, I have to be lucky in that I live in a developed country where this tap will give me hot water, or soap, 
I'm not going to try to hide the brand here, but the uh, soap uh, is cheap. It doesn't cost very much at all. You can work on a job or trade with someone, maybe make some Bitcoin, maybe even mine, whatever. Uh, but the soap is really, really cheap. And so you can add the soap to the water, make the water really hot. And gradually, little by little, using a rag. Now, I have a, a, a kitchen, normal kitchen rag. This was probably bought at some general store. Uh, but you don't need a fancy rag. You can, if you have an old shirt or an old pair of pants, you can cut it up into little bits and pieces. The little bits and pieces will work just fine. And as long as you wipe any dirt or grime or pieces of food off with the soap and hot water, and make sure that you kind of get the whole surface of everything that you're washing. You don't want to have a lady come over to your house or for dinner or something like that and see that you have food stuck to your plates. That would be gross. Women don't like gross things generally. And of course, there are exceptions for everything. There's probably some woman out there who loves men who have really dirty dishes. But by and large, if your goal is to just find a girlfriend, one that matches for you specifically, I wouldn't be aiming for her personally. Now, if you can keep on your dishes and clean them as you make them, that would be best. Uh, if you have a dishwasher, a machine to do the dishes, that is also a good idea. Dishwashers can sometimes be expensive. I don't personally have one. Uh, but you might notice if you do dishes by hand a lot, and if you're in the habit of cleaning after yourself, that the women will notice this too. And if you're generally clean and have a, a habit and have developed a habit of being clean, they will notice that too. Again, not every woman likes a clean man, but you will find that if you look at the data, it's a good thing to be clean. Now, being clean is kind of like, again, going back to the math video, uh, it's, it's kind of like learning math or kind of like running, where if you try to just really be a clean person after not being a clean person for most of your life, you'll probably fail. You have to kind of try at it for a while and get a little bit better and a little bit better. And you have to incorporate cleaning into your routine, incorporate doing the dishes into your routine. Doing the dishes once is good, but you want to really be on it. You want to be always doing dishes and, and so it becomes a kind of a, a, a second nature to you that you feel the, the urge to do dishes if you haven't done them in a while uh, even if there's not many dishes in the sink just because you know that you don't want to get out of the habit. So after you've kind of scrubbed your dishes with soap you'll probably want to let them either let them dry some people will dry them right away personally I, I let them dry and then put them back in an organized fashion in your cupboards. If you have cupboards, and if you don't have cupboards, put them back wherever it is you put them. Sometimes you'll need uh, something a little bit rougher than a cloth. I tend to like these little green scrub pads. I don't know how widely available they are in the world, but they are also pretty cheap. They will take coffee stains and a lot of stuck on food off, no problem. And after you scrub with that green brush, usually it's a good idea to scrub again with a cloth and hot soap, hot soapy water, and go from there. Now, I tend to have a problem when I do dishes. I lean my belly uh, up against the the sink where there tends to be a little bit of water collecting. That's not a good thing. If you can figure a way to not do that, that would be great. Uh, that's just a, a flaw in the way that I do things. Don't, don't do that if you can get away with it. 
But now at this point in the video, you might be asking yourself, well, you know, why are we watching Jeff Cliff do this? Like, why, why should we listen to him at all? Um, you know, what does this guy know about women? And without going into too many of the details, let's just say that in the past two or three weeks, I've had two friends uh, make the claim that I have been fairly successful in my life with women. Uh, and regardless of how uh, accurate those claims were, uh, it's interesting that they would make that claim, I think. And I have had a lot of girlfriends over my life. I've shared my house, my bedroom, my um, my worries, my fears, my 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 joys, uh, all parts of my life with some wonderful women. And I would not have traded that time for anything in the world. And I have seen, to some extent, what works and what does not work. And again, different women like different things. Uh, if you try to fit all women to, into one general mold, you'll find there's almost always exceptions. But nevertheless, women don't like doing dishes very much. Some do, some will find it therapeutic. But if you can lessen the amount of effort that they have to spend, even just by doing a little bit, if you're living with a woman, do the dishes once in a while if you're not used to doing it. Save her some time. That time, it could be spent doing other things. It could be spent doing or paying attention to things that worry her and helping her to resolve the problems in her life. Maybe it allows her to take a different approach, going back to the different approaches video, in solving one of the problems in her life. You want to minimize the amount of stress that the woman that you are trying to, to woo uh, has to deal with. Stress is a, uh, tends to have a negative effect on other things, on libido. So if you are trying to uh, physically attract women, uh, if you can reduce the amount of stress in their life, that will help. It's not the only thing you have to do. Dishes are not the only thing you have to do to get a girlfriend. But if you do dishes, you will be one step towards your goal, I think. Now, you could also be asking at this point, well, why, why make videos for this? You know, why not just let all the young men in the world figure out that they need to do dishes on their own? And, hey, I figured this out. So, you know, maybe this is an advantage to me personally that other men don't know this. But that's not what I'm about. It's never been what I'm about. Science is about sharing. Go back to the alchemy video. Share your results. Take data. You know, try to, to see if when you start doing dishes over a long period of time, if you're more successful. And how much? Figure out the, the, the correlation over you know, Don't take my word for it. Do it yourself. But at the same time, if you do find that it is helping you, publish. Say something. Tell other people. Share your results. You know, maybe this is bullshit. Maybe that this is just a, a fluke in the data where I found the women who like people who do dishes. That's possible. But nevertheless, you want to do dishes. Now, this may also be true for women who want a girlfriend, and it may also be true for men who want a boyfriend. I just have no experience in those two matters, so I am going to refrain from commenting on those two things and stick to what I know, uh, which is being uh, the kind of boyfriend who does dishes, puts dishes away, etc. Now, some people may be watching this video and say, oh man, Jeff didn't wash the dishes at that point. I went to his house and there was not dishes clean. Well, that has happened in my life. And as you can see, there's a couple dishes less, left over from last night even here. So nobody's perfect. I don't claim to be perfect. 
But at the same token, I want you to learn from me. And if you're one of the subscribers to my channel, and if you're, especially if you're a young man, if you take nothing else from me today, take that you should do the dishes. And if you're, you know, really young, and you're complaining, your parents are trying to get you to do the dishes all the time, and you really don't like doing the dishes, well, guess what? They're trying to train you and give you what you need to get a girlfriend. And so you should thank them today for their doing so. Some couples have a routine where one person will cook and the other will do the dishes. That can work too. It's all about sharing and teamwork and making sure that uh, both parties are doing some amount of work to make the relationship work, especially for longer term relationships. But from the perspective, again, of someone who just is single and who wants to get a girlfriend, uh, you want to do a little bit of extra work. You want to take a little bit of time to make your prospective girlfriend feel comfortable and like she has some time uh, to spend on other things. Go the extra mile. You know, yes, there are there are other uh, things involved. And we'll, maybe we'll make more videos about those other things. But, you know, you've got to take the first step, right? The first step is doing dishes. Now, some people will drain the water into a second sink, if you have a second sink, so that you're using less soap, perhaps. Personally, I like rinsing the soap off of the dishes after I put the, the soap and the hot water onto the dish into the the sink uh, where my soapy hot water is. That way it stays hot. One, two, you know when the, the water needs to be changed because the sink will fill up and then it's time to change the water. And maybe we'll, we'll show you how to do that. But generally you wanna wipe off using hot soapy water the dish, rinse it with hot water to make sure there's no soap or soapy substance left on it, and then either dry it with a dry towel or cloth, uh, put it back where it's supposed to, or let it dry in some kind of a drying rack, as you can kind of see here. Now you can 3D print these drying racks. Uh, I think this one has a little bit of metal on the inside, so it's a little bit more sturdy, but if you don't have one, if you have a 3D printer, you could probably get away with printing one. Which, by the way, I haven't really talked too much about 3D printers in these videos, but man, if you can get access to one, they will make your life so much better. But they are kind of expensive, and I would say even most people in the world can't quite afford them yet, but the, they are becoming more affordable with time. And so I saw a video once on YouTube, and maybe I'll look for it, maybe you can find it, that describe different parts of masculinity, and especially in Western culture, what we think about when we think about masculinity. And I have more to say about this, uh, but the video made a really good point, which is one of the things about masculinity is this like a hesitation to do housework, uh, doing housework, uh, right now, a lot of men, and especially uh, in the media, will will think that they oh, it's a, it's a women's job to do housework. And yes, it was worse in the fifties, but even today, you will find a lot of people who think that it's the women who should be doing it. And yet, if if you do it, if you do the dishes, uh, their data at least said that uh, it is one of the things uh, that is highest are most related to successful relationships in a successful sex life. And uh, so, I can, you know, if this is something you want, put in the effort. Collect the data. See if it works for you. But don't be afraid of putting in some some effort to try to make your, your world cleaner, more organized, more hygienic, 
but more than anything else, just clean the dishes. Wash those dishes. You, if you've got a computer, like a laptop, sometimes you can watch a, a video while you do it. Sometimes you can't. You know, you may not have that chance. Okay, so at this point, all of my dishes are clean. I have a sink full of hot water. If you li live in a cold climate like Canada, uh, during the winter, you want to leave the water a little bit uh, because it keeps the warmth uh, inside of the house rather than letting it drain out of a drain pipe. In this case, this is summertime. It's still really hot here. So I'm going to drain this water right away, wipe off the counter, any splashes of water all over the place. Make sure everything is clean around where you did the dishes. If there's any bits of food or anything, get them out of the, the sink area. And every once in a while, you don't have to do it every day, but change out your cloth because they do eventually collect black mold. And then you don't want to be putting black mold on something that your prospective girlfriend is going to be touching. That again is gross. Don't do it. And I'm just going to let these dish dishes dry. If you have any questions about doing the dishes, or if you think I didn't describe something uh, well enough, uh, feel free to ask in anywhere where this video is posted. Uh, or if you want to challenge whether or not I know anything about women, go for it. Uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, for the women out there who are listening to this, just think about it. Do you really want guys to not do the dishes? Just think about it. See you next video.